Bet you didn't expect the video to start like this. Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video We're gonna try recreating the viral lip art that you see all over Instagram I've never tried lip art before but I thought today would be the day, you know I don't know I'm gonna try my best and see how it goes But before we get into all that, you know It's not a Sylvia Gandhi video if I'm not full of caffeine and energized and excited and ready to go So today that's gonna be real easy because this video is sponsored by 5-Hour Tea. Huge thank you to them I'm so happy. Perfect sponsorship for me you guys. Yes, here she is so cute and little, right? But she packs a mean punch of caffeine and energy. I'm sure you've seen these little guys around, but if you haven't, let me tell you a bit about it, okay? They are so good, like very tasty. It's basically an energizing green tea energy shot from the makers of Five Hour Energy, so you know it's gonna be good. And it contains caffeine from green tea leaves, says right there on the bottle. And they come in three delicious flavors. This one's peach tea, my personal favorite, but they also have lemonade tea and raspberry tea, so you got options. So let's open her up and drink it, cause you know I need energy before we attempt all these lip art. It's probably gonna take me the rest of the day. Let's be serious. So I need energy. So here we go, cheers. <sighs> Tasty. So I like that these are so small and quick and convenient. You just gulp, 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 and you are good to go. You know, they're sugar-free, low calories, so my body's gonna stay cute. Mm -hmm. That's just a bonus for me. I really love that it just gives me a quick boost of energy, keeps me alert, focused, and just helps me like conquer my day, or in this case, conquer my videos for you guys. What do you guys think of 5RT? Have you tried it? Which one's your favorite flavor? Let me know down below. And if you haven't tried it, quit sleeping on it. Okay, literally, you know, you need some energy. So you better go to 5HourEnergy.com and try it out. So thanks to 5Hour Energy for sponsoring this video. And now we are energized and ready to tackle these crazy lip art recreations. This face is because I know it's gonna be a process, but we got this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking that red button and now we can get into the video. So the first lip art that we're gonna try and recreate is that trend, you know, you've seen it, I'm sure you have, the dripping lip trend. So this is the picture I'm gonna try and recreate from Vlada MUA. She is so talented, y'all. You gotta see her Instagram. She creates the craziest lip art and I'm gonna try my best, but like, I ain't her. So first, let's start off with some black liquid lipstick. Seems simple enough. I'm gonna use the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Paint It Black. Love the formula of these. And I guess because the gold is like completely all over the top lip, I don't even have to put black on the top, so I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. Oh God, oh wow. I'm really going in confident without a lip liner here. Don't know what possessed me to think I could do that, but it's okay. Oh, the focus right now. While we're waiting for that to dry, we can make our gold little goop. I'm gonna use the ColourPop X Kathleen Lights Loose Pigment in the shade The Lion. And I'll just pour some of that out on the back of my mirror. Way too much. Ah! It literally spilt all over my lap. Half of the pigment is out of here already. What the heck? Anyways, gold everywhere, but the show must go on. Now I'm gonna use the Too Faced Melted Latex Clear Gloss. It's called Girl on Top. And I'm gonna just take a bunch of that and mix with the pigment. So I have my little gold mixture here of goop, but I realized after this dried down, it's more of like a shiny black, but hers is a complete matte black. So I'm gonna just put some matte black eyeshadow over top from my BH palette. I'll just pat that on. Oh yeah, that's giving us a nice matte black. So now let's apply our gold goop. I'm nervous for this part, you guys. <laughs> let's just take that on my lip brush and start to apply, I guess, to my top lip. Oh God, it's already dripping off the brush. So thick, it's hard to work with. <laughs> Just like my ass. Oh, just kidding. Uh, oh yeah, this is working out just fine. Let's add more. Oh, oh, don't trip yet. Oh, you know what? That's okay. Hers has some gold there. We're fine. Oh no. You know what? Might make it thicker if I add way more pigment to the lip gloss. Mm-hmm, I'm thinking. Ah, yes, that thickened it up a bit. I'm about to drool everywhere. Okay, I think all that's left to do is the drip down the middle. I'm gonna try and use the thickest bit of my mixture. It's hard to talk. It's getting everywhere. Want to kiss? No? Okay. We gotta do the middle drip. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's too thick. I need some more dripping action. I see movement. It's slowly dripping. Let me zoom you guys in. Drip. Come on, we're waiting. Hers is way drip down further down, almost to her chin. Let's do it, come on. Honestly, the hardest part about this is getting the right consistency with the gold goop. What if I just move my lips around a bit? There we go, we did it. That looks sick, I'm proud. There we have it, lip trend number one. Did I kill it or did I kill it? The drip is literally just staying there. Like, wow, is it magic or is it just me? <laughs> 
me. Okay, the more I talk, the more I'm messing it up, but like you saw it, you saw it for a second. We got it, okay, cool. So this is what this one looks like compared to the one we tried to recreate. The drip is about to release itself and get everywhere. So I'm gonna wipe this off so we can do trend number two. Next up, we're gonna try to recreate the rainbow lip art trend. That's very popular. I've seen I Love Sada E do it. She killed it. Vlada MUA also did it. So I wanna give it a shot myself. And I mean, we'll see how it goes. So first up, I'm gonna start out by lining my lips completely with the NYX eye pencil in pure white. So I'll just literally put this everywhere. We want a white base so the shadows go on nice and vibrant and pigmented. We don't want no dull rainbow lip, okay? We want vibrant rainbow lips. Slide on, glide on, they weren't lying. This is really sliding on and gliding everywhere. I like it. There we go, that's it, we're done. Milk lips, that's the trend. Killed it, right? Oh, I hate myself sometimes. So now we're ready to go in with all that color. So I'm gonna use my Morphe 35C palette. It's got all the colors of the rainbow and they're matte, just like the picture. I feel like a kind of fluffier paddle brush like this should do. Okay, colors of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv, honey. R stands for red. So we'll go in with the red shade in the palette. Okay, so red is on this side. <laughs> is that a joke? Where is the pigment? I need more to be happening here. Gotta stay in the lines. They taught me that in kindergarten. Let me try just spraying my brush. I think I just need to pack on like a thousand layers and we'll be good. So to try and make each section even, I'm gonna work from each side moving into the middle. So let's go to the other side. We need the blue shade. We'll pack that on the outer corner. I'm trying to be so careful to like stay in the lines, but honestly, I'll just clean up with concealer afterwards if I need to. And honestly, she did like two different shades of blue. She's got like a lighter blue. So I'll take this shade in the palette and we'll make this like a dark blue to light blue kind of gradient, just like in the picture. So much powder in my mouth. My lips are starting to feel drier than the Sahara Desert. And same with the red side, we gotta make it darker on the most inner part. So I'm gonna mix the red shade with this shade in the palette to deepen it up. And we'll put that darkest red right on the corner of our lips here. Okay, I think we got the red and the blue done. Time for orange. We'll use the orange shade in the palette. What the hell is that? Why is it so patchy? It's been 84 years of blending and it's looking really patchy and it's just hard to build the shadows to get them super intense. So I'm gonna try with lipstick. Let's see. So I'm using Tarte's Color Splash Lipstick in Sundays, which is an orange lipstick. And I'm gonna try and like pack that on on top of that crusty, dusty eyeshadow. Oh my God, it's so much easier. I'm gonna restart. Hello, it is me. I figured out the formula. And instead of using an eye pencil as a white base, I put on the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in their lightest shade and it's like white. The eyeshadow is sticking to it. So it's way more pigmented and I can still blend it. And it's not as drying and crusty dusty, you know? So we're gonna do that. It's fine, we're back on track. Next, we'll use this yellow shade in the palette. And it looks like there's two different shades of yellow. One lighter and one darker in the center of her lips. Gotta leave space for the green. Now let's take this green shade from the palette, apply that between the yellow and the blue. And then last but not least, the darker shade of yellow on this side. I kind of mix that yellow shade a little bit with the orange to create a different shade of yellow. I literally have shadow up my nose. Love that for me. Okay, so I mean, this is what it turned out like. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, it's pretty similar, but my shades are a little bit lighter than what she used, I guess. So it looks a little bit different, but I'm the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Get it? <laughs> the next lip trend we're gonna try is the pop art lip. So here are some photos of that. I'm gonna try and recreate this pink one. I don't know if I have that exact pink shade, but we're gonna try and finesse it. I'm gonna go in with Buxom's Vava Plump Get Lucky liquid lipstick. And I'll just start by applying that literally everywhere. <laughs> this is such a pretty color, but it's definitely more of like a purpley pink. And the picture is more of like a pastel baby pink. Oh, it's tingly. They weren't lying when they said vava plump. There's just too many things happening to my lips now. They're probably gonna fall off by the end of the video. I have this glow in the dark body and face paint here. So I'm gonna try and apply that on top to make it even more vibrant. So let's apply a light layer of that on top. Whoa, that is bright. It's exactly what I wanted. It kind of dried down, but it's still kind of a satin finish and I want it to be completely matte. So then when we go in with the black liner, it's not gonna leak everywhere. So I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe 35 C palette and I'm gonna dust the pastel pink shade all over my lips. It's even getting it closer to the lip shade in the picture too. I honestly have so much respect for artists that do lip art because holy, this stuff takes so much time and patience and your girl's hungry and I can't even eat because my lips are busy. <gasps> a mess. Now let's do the black outline around. I'm gonna use Morphe's liquid liner in blackout and I can't even breathe for this part, you guys. Okay, let me focus. Oh God, this liner is literally perfect for this. It's matte and so precise, but Oh my God, I can't even breathe. Oh no, what the heck is that? If you think wing liner 
hair is hard? Try this, it's harder. I did the outline, now we gotta do the lip wrinkles. If I run the pen along the inside, it kinda just creates wrinkles itself. Now it's time to add the little white highlights. I'm gonna use this white face and body makeup with a little eyeliner brush. And it looks like she has one at the bottom here. And there's a little circle right there. And now for the top one and a little dot right there. Did I do it? I think I did it. Last but not least, there's a little fake mole that we can't forget about right here. Finito! Oh my god, it looks so good. I did it. So here's the final recreation and I'm proud of this one. It looks pretty good. Moving on. Next is the cupcake sprinkles lip art trend. So I got my sprinkles right here. Here are a few example pictures of that trend. It's very, very cool. I'm excited to try it. This is the exact photo that I'm going to try and recreate. And to start out, we're going to paint my bottom lip white. So just using that same face and body makeup. Ooh, I'll apply that on my bottom lip. And for the top lip, it looks like it's a gradient from like blue, purple, and then pink. So we're gonna go in with the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks, first in Sea Goddess, which is the purpley one. And now let's go in with Hibiscus, which is the pink shade. That still looks kind of purple to me. I need a brighter pastel pink. I'm gonna use Saint Germain from MAC. Those shades are a little off, so I'm gonna help them a little bit by putting some shadows on top. I'll use this shade to go over top of the purple and deep Open that up a bit. I'll mix it with a darker purple. And then we'll take the pink and create a gradient with that deep purple. Oh yeah, this is much better. Now I'm gonna add that blue shimmery pigment that she has right on her Cupid's bow using the ColourPop Villains Just Your Voice Jelly Shadow. It's a pretty blue. I'm really hoping it's similar to what's on the picture. Oh yeah, nice little blue frost on her Cupid's bow, so cute. Now I'm gonna take the Too Faced Bend and Snap Liquid Lipstick. It's a really pretty kind of hot pink. And I'll take that on an eyeliner brush and I'm gonna stencil out those drips on my bottom lip. So we got a good stencil. I'm gonna go back in with hibiscus and just give a light general layer that I can blend. And we'll take Sea Goddess again, that purple shade, and use that to shade in the drips. I don't know if she just drew on the drips or if something's actually dripping. I feel like I'm just gonna keep it like this instead of trying to play with dripping some lip gloss or something because I feel like this looks okay. I don't wanna ruin it. So the fun step now, putting on the sprinkles. And I just messed up my lips trying to open this with my teeth, so. This is fun. Are you having fun? Cause I'm having fun. <laughs> so I just put some glitter glue on the back of my hand and I'll use a lip brush. And I'll apply these kind of in the general area that they are in the picture, but like obviously it's not gonna be exact. I really just wanted to eat those. Basically just applying the glue where I want the sprinkles and then sticking the sprinkles on. Okay, I'm basically done, but I can't even talk because the sprinkles will move around. She has piercing right there, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna fake the piercing using these body jewels right here. And I'll put that right on there. All right, so I'm finally done. This is the finished sprinkle cupcake lip art that I tried to recreate. This one was difficult, especially the drips. I don't really know what she used for the drips, but you know, this is the best I can do. I think it's pretty good for my first try, whatever. Ah, I'm excited to take this one off. Um, 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 tasty. That's kind of disgusting, actually. Okay, the next one, it was definitely one that I wanted to try out. It looks like hair is coming out your mouth. This is the picture right here. I'm excited to recreate this one. I actually have the exact lashes that, that they used in the photo. They're the Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes, and they were on their last life anyway, so I'm about to put them in my mouth. And this one seems pretty simple. It looks like just a nude lip. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen in the shade Martha. And this is like the closest lipstick that I could find to that shade. It's a very pale nude. And I'm just gonna apply this everywhere. Now time for the hairy part. Ooh, I like to call this the hairy escape. That's what it looks like. It looks like the hair is literally trying to escape out of your mouth. Okay, so I don't even know if I'll need lash glue because it might just stick to the lipstick. Ugh, this is weird. So creative, like who thinks of this? And put this one down here. Oh yeah, I killed this one. Whoa, why is this the coolest one? It was the easiest to do. Who wants to kiss me? This definitely has to be my favorite one. It was the easiest to do and it's so creative and very cool. I kind of feel like an alien. So hard to talk with these lashes in my mouth, but like I'm definitely feeling hella kissable right now. 
But those are all of the lip arts that I'm going to try and recreate for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Which one was your favorite recreation? Let me know down below. And did you like this video idea? Are there any other makeup trends that you wanna see me recreate? Let me know. That's all for this video. I hope you guys loved it. If you did, make sure you subscribe before you go by clicking this red button right here. A thousand years, good luck. If you subscribe, just click it. Click it for good luck. Do it, I'm waiting. And then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.